Well, good morning, everybody. It is March 10th. Um, my birthday. It's uh, March 10th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. And uh, we are getting some rain. And we're supposed to get maybe about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch out of this by the time it's done uh, late tomorrow night into Saturday morning. So hopefully everyone's having a good sleep right now. Hopefully you guys are not up. Yeah, as I said, I hope you get some good sleep. My beautiful wife is back in town. Say hi, Rachel. Hey, everybody. <laughs> she just got back from the Whittier area, spending time with her family down there while we had all this snow. She she escaped. And guys, don't forget, if you enjoy what I do, please help me out by liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you're alerted whenever I make new videos. I'd really appreciate it. I work really hard. I enjoy what I do for you guys, and uh, you guys are an absolute joy and blessing in my life. It's been truly amazing to have you guys as my family you guys are our best family I have I have ever had so thank you and let's see here so we're on Big Bear Boulevard it is 3 43 in the morning you're not gonna believe it it's 40 degrees this is the warmest night we've had all winter and it had to be on my birthday it's raining on my parade we have a live feed going as well it's gonna be up through the whole whole day for my birthday they're going to be two 11 and a half hour segments just so we can all hang out chat talk story stuff like that i'm looking forward to that because you guys have been a huge impact in my life and just want to say thank you guys so yeah so we are on big bear boulevard not another car in sight and we're just going to do a short drive But yeah, just like uh, a lot of you are concerned about this rain, I am as well, but thankfully we've had some warmer temps and a lot of the snow off a lot of these roofs has melted, not completely off, but a, a good enough amount to where the worry about roof cave-ins, collapses, won't be too much of a big deal. Now next week, if we were supposed to get the, um, the atmospheric river as they predicted a few days ago, I'd be very concerned about our town with all the flooding from all this snow melting so rapidly. But next week's atmospheric river is supposed to stay to the north of us. And places like Yosemite and that part of the Sierras, they're in for a really, really, really rough time. I'm very concerned about them. They're going to have some severe flooding. It's not going to be good. So if everyone can just keep positive thoughts for these areas. But for us, we're going to be good. We are going to be good. So I thought we would cruise through the, the, the village. This is just going to be a short update video. I just wanted you guys to see that it is raining. And for all of you who are new to this channel, I'm like, I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do. Anytime we get any new weather, anything like that, I'm always out. It doesn't matter what time it is. Um, I'm obsessive compulsive about it. And, uh, yeah, so I really hope you guys appreciate it. And, uh, really looking forward to those of you who've been missing the snow for our best snow we've had in many, many years. I'm looking forward to you guys coming up here and enjoying the town. Because I know a lot of you have been really, really bummed out about not being able to come up here. And trust me, I get it. I get it. Literally, a town that's made for the snow. We get tourism, which supports the town for the year during our winter months. And you guys could not come up here to enjoy the fresh powder. And now, now it's going to rain. So I'm hoping the grooming equipment on the mountain actually... Uh, um, is able to maintain some of the nice fluffy snow, but this rain coming is not going to be too good for our snow. So I'm, you know, just fingers crossed that you guys still have a good time up there. I'm sure you will, but it's it's not going to be that Colorado Rocky champagne powder anymore, which is very rare for us to get that here. All right. So this is Village Drive we're turning on now. We were just on Pine Knot, you guys, for those of you who do not know. This is this is our village. It's a cute little part of town. This is probably our most popular part of, well, not probably, it is our most popular part of town. A bunch of touristy shops down here, stuff like that. As I've showed, shown you guys, I did a video of this place called the Queen Bee right here they really have amazing amazing honey products the ownership's awesome super great great people but all the honey is derived locally and they create so many beautiful products and just amazing like skin balms and um, even 
honeycombs you can eat and stuff like that. It's just super, super good stuff. So check out the honeybee when you're in town and, and, and tell them I referred you. Maybe they'll hook you up. Or maybe worse, they'll charge you double. You never know. All right, so... Yeah, our town is really dead quiet right now. But of course, it's because it's just about four in the morning. Here's the lodge at Big Bear Lake. I point this out to you guys often. If you guys want to know what the nicest room there looks like on my playlist, I have a playlist of all the lodging I've done in town, and that is one of the places. And we stayed in their, their biggest room. It was like 11 or 1,200 square feet. Um, and funny enough, it was, it was like less than 200 bucks per night. But that was back then. I don't know what it would be now. So we're just going to drive up here a little bit to Edgemore and take Lakeview back. And then I'm, my wife and I are going to stop and grab some food. Oh, coyote. Coyote, buddy. How are you doing, Mr. Coyote? Babe, when I was doing those live feeds during the, the, like the real heavy part of the storm, walking down Moon Ridge, when there was no one out, I was really worried because these coyotes are, are struggling to find food because mm -hmm. oh, yeah. of all the snow. You look like a hot dog walking down the street. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yep, exactly. Guys, we got a comedian here. <laughs> you guys miss me and my comedy. <laughs> they missed you. They've been asking about you a lot. That makes me feel really, really good. We have we have amazing friends on this channel. They really yeah. do care. They really do care. Just like I care about you guys. But yeah, coming up uh, to Big Bear, you guys, as far as I know right now, you got to take Highway 18 through Lucerne Valley still. I know 38 is going to be reopening soon to all vehicles, but um, right now, to be sure, the information that I've received is that Highway 18 through Lucerne Valley. So you, you got to, if you if you live on the San Bernardino side, the riverside side of the mountains here, you got to go all the way around the mountain range to get up here. But you know what? Not a lot of people, um, a lot of people probably won't want to take that trek, so you might still be able to get up here when it's really calm and quiet. I, I drove up this morning, or well, this evening. Yeah, this evening. And um, yeah, no traffic. Really? Nobody blocking the road to say, do you live in Big Bear? Um, smooth drive, yeah, no traffic at all. So. Fantastic. You guys heard it here. Also watching the news and they were saying that the slopes are open but there's nobody skiing, so it's a good time to go. Yeah guys, it's awesome. Driving by those slopes, I I just saw a handful of people riding down the mountain and it just looked like so much fun because you're not gonna have to wait in any lines. You'll get your money's worth. You'll yeah, get your truck money's worth. Came up and they restocked the food at the grocery stores, so I don't think that's an issue anymore either. We just turned on Edgemore, guys, and, and you're going to take this to Lakeview to drive alongside the lake. Yeah, so as my wife just said, all the, uh, all the stores are being restocked. I didn't have a problem getting gas earlier tonight. Maybe so, the locals might want to go grocery shop first, but I'm sure they've all done that by now. Yeah, and it's, you know, first come, first serve, right? If you haven't ran to the grocery store yet, then you're not that hungry. Exactly. You had stocked up food. And you guys coming up here and supporting our economy by spending money, we, we, we really appreciate it because as you guys know, I thank you guys all the time. Without you guys who come up here creating the jobs and creating ambition for these for these business owners to create businesses up here, without you guys, I don't get to live here. I don't get to do this channel. I couldn't afford to live here because there'd be no, like I'm, I'm not gonna drive 70 miles one way just to go to work like I'm I'm just not so I wouldn't be living up here so thank you guys for supporting our town thank you guys for being so loving and uh, just caring about this place because this is one of our last beautiful places left in Southern California I mean you go down the mountain it's just tent city everywhere it's 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 it's, it's, it's super sad it's super sad and I'm just glad that we've kept that out of here but at the same time we need to get those people some help Right, baby? Yeah. I mean, that is just so, so sad, but welcome to California. Welcome to a state where the politicians do not care. Well, I was really surprised, too, to see how many people that live up here and also just in the mountain area that didn't really, um, I don't want to 
say they didn't prepare, but they didn't really have like that backup stay. food. They didn't have, you know, the just in case something happens. So I think it's a good time for everybody to maybe like step back and make their earthquake, uh, you know, kits and make their backup food and get their canned foods while you can because it, this could happen anywhere. You, we could have a major earthquake and even down the mountain, the grocery stores could go empty, things like that will happen. You know, rare, you, but you yeah. You have to be prepared. I mean, rare or not. And our town to prepped a, a lot more than I've ever seen them, but they didn't do anywhere near what they should have done, you guys. Like, uh, like I thought our town was going to be fine. I really did. And we didn't get even the hardest snow from this whole thing. The other side of our mountain range got mm -hmm. just destroyed. But yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was really rough. Like I thought a bunch of people had done more because I'd been talking to a bunch of people and they said that they have done more, prepped more for this massive blizzard that came through. But as my wife just said, like, uh, as much as we thought we were prepared, we certainly weren't. Yeah. The food ran out quick. And, and, and sadly, there's a lot of people out there, you guys who, who can't afford the extra prepping. So that's a big problem up here also is that there's just not enough, um, you know, like, uh, there's a, a lot of people struggling up here. And so for them, like, those are the ones I feel absolutely worst for because yeah. they, they didn't have that choice. Especially the elderly people. It's so hard for them. Um, a lot of people that I talked to from LA were like, Oh, you're from Big Bear. I was planning on retiring out there. And I'm like, Ooh, I don't know about a retirement because it's, yeah. it gets rough during the snow time. Yeah. Oh, totally. Most of the old people they, they like to retire to Florida and like Palm Springs, yeah, right? Yeah, that would be beautiful by the beach. Yeah, that kind of surprised me too. The amount of elderly people that we do have up here because of this snow season, it, 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 it was quite shocking. I just really worry about them. So do I. So do I. And I just found out that there were like 12 or 13 deaths up here, guys, during this last storm, which is just... It's horrible. I, I mean, horrible. And I still haven't found out what the deaths were from, but I'm I'm guaranteeing you that a lot of it was people were stuck in their homes, couldn't get their medications. Maybe some people had heart attacks, but they found 12 or 13 people passed away um, as they're doing this cleanup up here, which is just horrifying because this is a small area. So to have that many people losing their lives, um, and the government's extremely late response is it's just super super sad so what street are we on honey let's see here we are on forest road forest i didn't know forest goes all the way over here i have no idea where we're at you guys but we decided to take edgemore to the very end i didn't realize that it didn't go that much past lakeview but yeah my wife's absolutely right it's really so important to get completely prepped up um, and that's something that's a lesson I learned as I said I thought I, I bought enough frozen foods and stuff like that to last me and um, for three or four extra days but clearly that was not enough especially when my car got stuck I you guys know me I I've, I, I don't get stuck up here like I've never used chains but I got my snow tires and the proper vehicles always. I never expected that I would ever get stuck up here. But I got stuck for two and a half, three days. And it was, you, you want to talk about claustrophobia. Like, holy moly, that that was a horrible, horrible feeling. And then my beautiful bride, she ended up being able to literally escape in between like a small break in, a, in our big storm. And she, like, I was, I was happy for her. I was happy for her that she got out of here. But uh, yeah, all of you listening, very important that you do prep up on water and make sure you have enough medications and, um, or as my wife said, don't live here, <laughs> you know, move, move somewhere else where you're not going to go through stuff like this. Of course, there's natural like disasters everywhere you go, earthquakes, tsunamis, um, flooding, fires. Yeah, that's what I was saying is it could happen anywhere.
get your extra canned foods. Yeah. And in most ways, I'd, I'd rather starve than eat my canned foods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I like my double cheeseburgers, man. I like my double cheese. Double cheese with some extra cheese. Even some more cheese on top of the cheese. Where, where are we now? Is this, is this Edgemore again? It is, isn't it? Okay, so we just did a big loop. I've never done that loop before. I never know it could be done. So that's cool. So guys, to the right, that is heading towards uh, the little Arctic Circle, Highway 18 leaving town, but you cannot leave that direction because the little Arctic Circle, which is in between the Big Bear Dam and Snow Valley Ski Resort, is still full of three, four, five feet of snow in certain places covering the, the entire road. It was amazing to drive over there right after, or dur during our aftermath video to see that there was, it was untouched. There was no heavy equipment anywhere. Um, not even a footprint. Like it just, it looked like a town in Siberia. It was just like a ghost town in Siberia. It was, it, it was, it, it was crazy. And that feeling alone made me feel more claustrophobic as well. But yeah, let me, hang on a second. And we're passing one of our favorite Mexican restaurants, Azteca Grill. So expensive, you guys, but when we can afford it, we like to go, go eat there once in a while. And on Tuesdays, they have dollar tacos. Which are the same tacos. Are they the same ones we order? That I order. No, for, stop yes, it. I swear. I couldn't stop believe it. it. Like, I paid $5 for five tacos. They're literally a dollar. And my, and, and my wife can, she can throw down tacos and she, <laughs> <laughs> she can throw those things down. This beautiful woman. I don't know where she puts it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I didn't realize that, 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 that they had like the good Taco Tuesday prices. That's mm -hmm. great. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe it, first of all. And then I went, and yeah, it's a real thing. And $1. she conquered. She went and she $1. conquered. And then regularly, when you get a, a four pack of their like shredded beef tacos, guys, these are top shelf tacos. It's like 20 bucks. It's 15, but yeah. No, I, I just, I'm, I just, I know, I know what I just paid, honey bunny. And it was, it was 19 bucks plus tax. And I asked them why when we've been paying 14 or 15 bucks for them. And they said that the prices went up because of inflation or like something like that, which is like 25% jump for tacos. Are, 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 do you know if they're still doing them for a buck on Tuesdays then? Yeah. Still? Wow. Wow. Baby, I did not realize that. We need to go there on- Only on Tuesdays. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's what you said, babe. Yeah. So that, yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. And then I also learned today at Jersey Mike's up here on Tuesdays, they offer double points for your sandwiches. Since I'm not made of money, um, I got to try and find all these deals that I can so I can continue to eat the way I like to eat. So I can eat the way I like to eat, baby. All right, and then as I pointed out, this place called the Omeo, it is, uh, oh, another coyote. The, uh, the hotel used to be, I can't remember what it was called, but they just finished remodeling it and reopened it. I heard it's pretty nice, just like this place as well right here. This is called the Marina Riviera. And I put my mom up here many years ago when it was just the Marina Hotel. Really, really nice spot. Beautiful lake views. You're right on the lake there. But yeah, guys. So this is what's going on in the main part of town right now. I don't think we passed one car, did we? The whole drive. No, I think we passed one. No. 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 Did we pass one? Just well, one. Yep, guys. I think we passed one car. <laughs> but once again, during these conditions where there's snow everywhere. It's, it, this is just unheard of to, even at this time in the morning, to just pass one car. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Welcome back to my wife. All, she's been gone for a week and a half. It's been crazy. And uh, yeah, uh, hope you guys are all having a beautiful morning. I'm excited to chat with you guys on the live feed. When we get home, I'm gonna be going to sleep, but the live feed is on. So those of you who want to hop on, see what's going on live in our town, feel free to do that and 
chat with each other. It's 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 been a it's it's been a really beautiful space. It, I mean, you know, so many of you have the most awesome conversations on there, and um, I'm just really proud to be a part of your guys' lives. Honored to have you guys in my life. My life is only better because of you guys. So thank you guys for everything. Um, my baby. Sorry guys, I'm still tired. It's four <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I dragged her out to come do this, but you know what? That's what a supportive wife does, and it feels really, really good because I know, you know, a lot of people would be like, "I'm staying in bed," but she got up to come be with me, especially because she hasn't been with me in a long time. So this is. And if, it's his birthday. And I'll cry if I want to. Happy birthday. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Guess how old I am, guys? Forty-three. See, you were wrong. Not yeah. 65. Jeez. Oh, we were going with 75. Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you guys again for all the support, all the love. I really, really am extremely grateful for each and every single one of you. I wish you all the very best, always. We'll be doing another video when the rain picks up tomorrow, but as I said, the live feed's on for the whole entire day. Well, tomorrow is technically today. I love you guys very, very much. Oops. Oh, poor guy. Oh, he has oh. a broken leg. Oh, poor little dude. There's coyotes everywhere, guys. See, it's hard for them to find food right now because uh, there's snow everywhere. But yeah, we're going to pull in a 7-Eleven, get my wife a little bite to eat. And uh, once again, I want to say thank you guys. And if you guys really enjoy what I do and see the effort that I, I put into this, I would really appreciate a like, a subscribe especially, and uh, share, share these videos with others who don't think Southern California gets snow and other people who who like to see beautiful places like this. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything. And uh, yeah, we love you to death. I really can't thank you guys enough for all the support. It means the world to me. So take care. It's March 10th. It's 4.04 in the morning, 38 degrees. Let's just get that there and say goodbye, my darling. Bye everybody. Have a great, great rest of your night, guys.